Omos is a visual arts piece uh, created by myself, a celebration and homage to black performers and black history um, in, in royal historic spaces in Scotland and the current amazing black performers and cabaret performers in Scotland. The name Omos is taken from the Shakespeare text, uh, which is Oh Monstrous, Oh Strange. So I thought, how can I reappropriate that? And I actually thought of changing to our movement, our stories. In the film, there are four characters that we see. Uh, we start off with Divine Tacinda, who is a street dancer based in Scotland. Uh, we come across myself, Reese. I'm gender bending drag perched on a rock and I do a bit of spoken word. First, let me ask before I spit these bars. It might be a task when that you won't pass. Maybe you'll drown in the shadow I'll cast. You might not last. So first, let me ask, are you ready or not? We carry on our way through Pucks Glen and we discover Kiana who is in the role of almost a fairy, princess, warrior, gorgeous creature. We end up at Stirling Castle, in the hall where this history that this film is kind of inspired by, where we come to Andrea Baker. In almost a matriarchal role, calls these black performers to this space uh, where she does an amazing piece about the, her lion's roar and her power and her choice and, and the joy of her movement and, and her sadness. I am one with the law and the dunes. Joy in the morning, joy in the evening. Joy and then we end up by like dancing and just enjoying each other as we revel in retaking the story. In Stirling Castle in the 16th century, there was a bull and a king wanted to have a lion pull a chariot across the hall and it was deemed to be too scary to allow that to happen. So instead, this unnamed black character, this black actor was brought in to pull a chariot across the hall in, in lieu of a lion. And in A Midsummer's Night's Dream, one of the characters makes a comment about wanting to play a lion, but then somebody says, oh, we can't do that, we'll be killed because it's too scary for the courts. And so we saw that connection as a, as a way of bringing Puck's Glen, named after A Midsummer's Night's Dream, and this actual real history together as a starting off point. I think my work in this piece is to bring to light the fact that black people have been in Britain for such a long time and are part of British history outside of just being taught about slavery as we are in schools. And finding power in that as a mixed race person um, and as a black performer who is still performing um, to this day. But let me step back in my high heel boots. How can I grow when I don't have roots? How can I see when you blind our youth, when you mine our truth, my mind's in a noose. And so in my piece, I kind of say, how can I grow when I don't have roots? And actually it speaks to my own displacement, my own lack of identity and my blackness. And how can I be proud of my blackness if I don't really know it? I can't give you the answers to navigate what it means to be a black British person, a black Scottish person. But what I can do is show you that there are, we are here and that we are gorgeous. Um, and that can be a route for you to then grow. And I'll see you on the stage, baby.